Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a comfy fall look um, tutorial using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Um, I <clears throat> bought it when it first launched and it's been um, re-released, restocked a few times so I figured we would use a couple of the warm shades in there and just kind of, yeah, do that. So, um, before this video is super duper long, let's just get right into it. So first I'm going to start off with the Fenty Beauty Primer. Two pumps of that. And as you guys probably know by now, I am madly in love with this stuff. Yeah. All right, and for foundation, we're gonna be using the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. I have mine in light beige and ever since I used this the other day I really really like it I love the finish and the coverage can be built up to full which I also really like and since it is a comfort mat it doesn't um, really get too cakey or anything like that. So we are going to be using a Morphe M439 to blend everything in. By the way, those of you that saw my Instagram post, this is my second time filming this, so if I'm not quite as happy <laughs> as I normally am, that is why. I had a super mom brain fart and I turned off the camera to fix something with my camera and then I forgot to turn the record back the record button back on and I like did my whole <laughs> video without even recording it and I felt like such a freaking idiot. But you know, happens to the best of us. Okay. Now we are going to take the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. I have mine in Honey. And put that under our eyes and on our lids. Yeah. All right, and then I'm going to take my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder. And with a Morphe E53 set under my eyes and my lids. And then I'm going to set my whole face with a giant powder brush, the Morphe E41, with the same powder. Alright, and then for bronzer, I'm going to use the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And... Turns out it does have the shades on the back. I have mine in medium dark. And I, uh, I love this. Not only is the color really, really pretty, but it just smells so good. If you haven't smelled it, it smells like, like the Hawaiian Tropic Tanning Lotion. It smells like vacation. And for blush, I'm going to take this um, little mini Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in Party. And my It Cosmetics blush brush. And for highlight, we're going to be using the ColourPop Give Me More Pressed Powder Highlighter Palette. It looks like that on the inside. And I'm going to be using this shade in the middle. I thought I would give this a try. Um... I didn't really want to return it, but I don't normally have in my collection um, palettes of highlighters because usually I only use one or two shades and I just don't think it's worth it. So we are going to give this a try. I'm going to take my Zoeva 103 brush and this is the third shade I've tried in this palette. and. Usually you can see, like if a highlighter is too dark or too light, you can see the stripe of color um, on the tops of your cheekbones, but I actually don't think 
you can see that on me so that one seems to be pretty good and we are going to get into eyes like I said we're using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette if you haven't seen it it looks like that and um, I don't quite know where my shade name card thing is so we are just going to wing it um, and I'll just point out the colors as I'm using them so I'm going to zoom you guys in and we will get started okay so we're gonna take a big fluffy brush and go into that shade right there it's the third shade on the top row and just kind of blend this all over our crease All right, and then with a Morphe E23, it is just a fluffy blending brush. <laughs> um, we are going to, we're gonna go into this color right here, the second in on the second row, and I'm just going to warm up my crease. Alright, and with the same fluffy brush, we're going to go into this rusty red-orange shade, and we're going to warm up the crease even more. And now we are going to go into another fluffy brush, a Morphe M504, and we're going to go into this burgundy shade right here and focus it on the outer corner. And now we are going to be taking um, a smaller Morphe B80 and we're going to go into this dark chocolate brown and just define, define, define the outer corner. And with a, another fluffy brush, we're going to go in, um, this is an M518, not that one. We are going to go in with this mustardy shade. And we are going to blend everything out. Alright, and then for the lid, we're going to go in with this dark bronze shade and I'm just going to be using a wet wild shader brush and I'm just going to pack that all over my lid. And then with a little precision brush, I am going to take this color right here, the second color in the palette, and just do a little bit of an inner corner highlight. And we are going to move to the lower lid. I'm going to be using a Morphe G24, and I'm going to be taking that rusty red-orange shade and um, smoking that out. And 
and with a little pencil brush I'm gonna go into that chocolate brown shade and just focus that on the outer edge of my lash line and since I am going to be doing lashes for this look um, I'm going to be taking a little smudger brush and going into the second darkest shade in this palette it's an almost black purpley brown and I'm just gonna be going really close to my upper lashes okay so before we put on any lashes I'm going to go in with matte meh <laughs> sorry I can't talk um, this is Maybelline's full and soft mascara looks like that it's just a normal brush and we are going to be taking these bad boys these are the 614s from salon perfect so um since it takes me five years to get these on i'm going to um turn off the camera just for a little bit and put these on and then we'll be right back all right so my lashes are on and i am actually um i haven't tried too many fake lashes that i really really love um it takes a lot for me to love them because it just kind of feels like there's a lot of weight on my eyelashes um and my eyelids so i don't normally wear fake lashes but i felt like this was um kind of glam enough that it needed fake lashes so i actually really like these they don't feel too heavy um and the band is um really flexible and easy to work with so yeah these are actually some of my favorites that i've ever used so for lips we're going to be using my brand new favorite it is the Too Faced Melted Matte Gingerbread Man and mm, the last time I used this um, on camera I told you guys that um, or at least I think I told you guys that I don't remember the other Melted Mattes smelling like this smells it smells so good um, and in fact they don't <laughs> this is um, it smells like cake batter it smells delicious and the other ones just kind of um, smell like lipstick chemicalies so um yeah if you have the chance to get your hands on this you definitely should it's absolutely gorgeous and before i ramble on anymore let's get it on so there you have it this is my um fall glam jaclyn hill palette tutorial for you and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this, just give me a big thumbs up. Um, let me know what you think of this look down in the comments. And please, please hit that little red subscribe button down right below my video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.